many people, and it's not, never going to make the news. The young man was shot down by the Pasadena police. He never made it. didn't make the news. How many people have been shot down, and, and it didn't make the news? Now, don't get me wrong. There are some very good police officers. But this particular officer should not be on duty anymore. He should not be working for Hartborn anymore.
and the wrongful arresting of his master. John, I ask that you take this case to court and that you those officers be held accountable and that they, in a court of law by a jury of 12, they will be found guilty of the murder of the innocent dog. Yes! I ask, Father, that you take those type of officers off the court. We don't need officers that are trigger happy with their weapons. Yeah. So, God, I'm going to thank you, God, for what you have done, and I'm going to thank you, God, for what you're going to do. And protect everybody out here that nobody will be incarcerated today, that nobody will be hurt today, that we won't have any civil unrest today, but we don't know what's going to happen at the end of the Trayvon Martin case, God. Yeah. But we don't know what's going to happen with, with, with all the stuff that's going on right now. This is a sign, God, that you've given us that, that the whole world is in, in an uproar, in Egypt and everywhere else. So we need leadership today, God. So I thank you for leadership. Thank you for your love.
should take place of us of using daily force.
The man was videotaping. He had a right to do that. Okay, he was not obstructing justice because justice was already taking place. But what's caught on video within a reasonable or a shadow of a doubt is that dog being shot down. And when I saw the dog rolling, going through his motions, I cried. It hurt me so bad to see that dog shot like that. And I'm sure it hurt a few officers too. Because all the officers are human beings and they have dogs too. But guess what? A decision is going to be made in the court of law. Get rid of him! This trial is going to go to court. It might not go to court right away, so we're going to have to be patient. Because eventually they think we're going to just whittle away. No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No crooked! Police! Justice for that! Don't do 
the cries that you get through the time. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! And when do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No cooking! No peace! Okay, y'all, you know what? Write your letters to Washington, D.C. Write your letter to the Justice Department. Write your letter to the Supreme Court. I dare you to write a letter to the Supreme Court about your pet. I dare you to write, send that video to the Supreme Court. Send it to the criminal court building, to the head judge. Send it to the city council members. Send it to the mayor of this city. Send it to the chief of police. And let's let them know that we want them to remember never to forget. You just can't do that. You can't just pull out your gun and shoot a dog. That's right. Hell no. You know? What's wrong with you? You just can't arrest people because they're assembling and videotaping. People have a right to assemble. People have a right to get together. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Civil rights are violated. Yes, it was a civil rights violation and it was a rape to... Okay, I'm just going to say it. It was profiling. Yes, yes. 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 Okay, because if that would have been the Beverly Hills police, the Beverly, the cop would have got the dog and put him in the back seat himself. Yeah. But it just happened to be in Hawthorne in, in the African American area. Let's keep it real, y'all. Yeah. Let's keep it real. Okay? It just happened to be he was in the African American area. If that would have been in Beverly Hills or Beverly uh, anywhere in the Beverly. Yeah. I don't know. That's another question. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you what, if that would have happened in Beverly Hills or Hollywood, they would have got, they got, they got Max and here, Max, and they would have had some doggy treats in the trunk, and Max would have been in the back seat, and, and, and it would have been all right. And they, they kill dogs all the time. They killed another dog, too, that we knew. This same cop? Another freaking cop. Another one. And they do it all the time. These are just a dog. These are just Shooting dogs is against the law. 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 No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No crooked. No peace. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. I feel sorry for for Leon's family too because if Leon had kids, I'm sure the kids played with it with the dog with Max. I'm sure his nieces and nephews played with Max. I'm sure when he walked Max to the dog park, it was a great conversation piece to talk about how beautiful his dog was. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Now, we're not breaking the law right now, are we, y'all? No. And let's turn around and walk all back down here with our signs. And let's hold our signs up real high. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. Let's see some effort, y'all. I want to see some effort. If you're here for Max, Come on, make some
you were not accept, accepting uh, justice. You were not breaking any law. You you put your dog in the car. You were leaving. And you know what they should have did? They should have said, we're going to unhandcuff, unhandcuff one of your hands. Please give your dog a direct order to get back in the vehicle. And please roll up the window so we won't have any problems with your dog. Because we're dealing with you, we don't have any reason to really deal with your dog. But I think it was handled in the wrong way. I think it was unprofessional. I think that the decision that needs to be made, the, the, the sergeant should have been there to say, hey, let's, do, let's deal with this in a different way. We already have had enough racial profiling problems, but here is another one. The reason name is Justin Kermack. I'll go to the camera. I just want to say, hold on, hold on, everybody. I just want to say this. Go live, I'm sorry, go live. I want to just tell you that I love you, and I thank you for your support, and also, let's do this in a peaceful way, non-violent. My objective is to make sure that their policies and their procedures change towards animals and people. There's no way in the world that your rights should be violated. Your civil rights are being taken away every day. And that's why I was filming. So let's do this with love and let's do this peacefully. But we want justice. We want justice. We want justice. Love you, Leon. We love Leon. Yes. And Leon, Leon, don't leave. Leon. No, 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 wait a minute now. Let's give Leon a hand because of his ability to be a Okay, I mean, it takes a diplomatic person to take a hardship such as the one that he's dealing with. Can you imagine going to sleep without your, you know, when your dog, 